What's up everyone, Tommy with Studio Sense here. Hope you're having a great day today. Thanks for stopping by. I know you're probably busy in all your preparations for this crazy holiday, at least here in the US and many places I'm sure that still celebrate it. It's Halloween. Time to dress up the kitties, go from door to door and get candy or do that whole trunk and treat thing where you take them to a usually a, a church parking lot and they everybody meets at the same time and gets in the trunk and just grabs candy. Now that I'm saying it out loud, it sounds like a really strange event. <laughs> trunk or treat. But anyway, even if you don't celebrate Halloween, that's what we're gonna be talking about today, except we're talking about the men's fragrance line by Jesus Del Pozo. This is something I haven't done in holidays past, so I'm taking advantage of it now. The first and only time where I'm gonna take a look at the entire Halloween line and rank them according to what you think is the best. Now there are six fragrances, so when we return, we're gonna go over each one of them in detail. That and more is coming up, so stay tuned. Yeah, nice. talking about men's fragrance and in particular today we're talking about Jesus Del Pozo's Halloween Man line. If you've never heard about the Halloween Man line this is the original Halloween Man fragrance and there are a total of six fragrances in this line at least so far. So we're going to talk about each fragrance in chronological order, take a look at what the fragrance is all about and then we're going to do a ranking based on the voting at Fragrantica.com so that will give you kind of a general idea of what people overall think about the fragrances from one to six. So we're going to see which takes first place, which takes sixth place in just a moment as we discuss and look at each fragrance. So let's talk about the original Halloween Man. This came out in 2012 and turned out to be a very good and very popular men's fragrance. This one features basil, mandarin orange, violet leaf, and the note of martini in the open. So one of the very few men's fragrance that opens with the note of martini. So not necessarily boozy, but just a little bit fruity in the open. Moves on to ginger flower, orange blossom, lavender, and cinnamon in the heart with ambergris, leather, musk, and vanilla in the base. Sounds like a great formula and it is a really good, very solid fragrance. This is a great starting point in the fragrance line. I would call it a lightly sexy kind of midline in terms of sexy date night fragrance, but it's a great starter fragrance. 20 21 and up, this is the kind of fragrance that you might want to take a look at because it's a great versatile everyday wear kind of signature scent fragrance. Projection is decent, about average. Longevity is really good, six to seven hours in terms of longevity. And it's just overall a very pleasant smelling fragrance. Now we're gonna go over each one of these fragrances before we actually rank them because I don't wanna let slip the number one fragrance according to you yet until we talk about all of them. So that's the original. Think about in your mind where it might place in terms of ranking as we discuss the other fragrances. Well, that was 2012. 2014 came along and saw the launching of Halloween Man Rock On. Kind of a weird name, but it is the red version of the line. It seems like every fragrance line has to release a red fragrance or a red pepper fragrance. Something that's gonna be warm, spicy, hot for the cooler climes. Kind of autumn, winter, and spring kind of fragrance. This one opened with kind of a confusing bamboo, cardamom, red pepper, and lemon. So it tried to be fruity and spicy and hot from the very get-go to give you an idea of where it was headed, where it was going. So there's no mystery in this bottle. You spray it on, you know exactly what you're getting. With a heart of lavender, rosemary, red apple, and violet leaf, trying to find its way into more of a hot, spicy, yet fruity kind of fragrance profile with a base of amber, moss, musk, and sandalwood. So kind of losing a little bit of footing. It's trying to be again more of a spicy red fragrance that's great for cooler weather and trying to have more of a modern appeal so that it can be more versatile for everyday wear. And in trying to do so, it loses its identity just a little bit because it doesn't seem to be great for either one of those, as are many red fragrances out there. They seem to have an existential identity crisis somewhere around the middle distance, you know, when it hits that mid, and then in the dry down, it's just like, who am I? That kind of happens to Halloween Man Rock On. It's one of those in the line that's kind of meh, not really sure what they're trying to go for, 
because they're not really hitting the mark. But think about where it might be ranking in your mind as we continue on and discuss some of the other releases. So 2015 comes along and sees the release of Halloween Man Tattoo. This one opens less confusing and more uh, as an ode to the original with bamboo leaf, cardamom, and mandarin orange with a base of musk, ambergris, sandalwood, and patchouli. So now we're hitting home just a bit more with Halloween Man Tattoo, trying to go back to the original Halloween Man kind of formula and give more of a derivation of that formula. This one's trying to be a bit more of a signature sense. Got more of a modern sensibility about it. Definitely a bit more versatile, but still somehow seems to miss the mark just a little bit. Not only does the performance suffer a bit in Halloween Man Tattoo, it also has a bit more of a synthetic smell to it. While it doesn't smell cheap by any means, it kind of misses its mark for that whole overall hyper versatile everyday wear signature scent that it's going for, similar to Halloween Man Rock On. But it is definitely a step above Halloween Man Rock On. So again, think about where this might rank in your growing comparisons of the fragrances as we move on. A 2016 comes along and we see the release of Halloween Man Shot. Halloween Man Shot is a pretty dramatic step up and a pretty dramatic departure from the original DNA, but it maintains that high quality and actually steps it up quite a bit. It also sees a simplification of the Halloween Man formula with fewer notes, at least fewer listed notes. We see drink notes again, like the original martini note in the Halloween Man. This one has lemon daiquiri in the open, along with cardamom and black pepper. The heart is iris and sage together, and in the base you've got vanilla, leather, and and sandalwood. Halloween Man Shot was actually met with dubious approval, tenuous approval by people until time went on and it gained in popularity because of its creamy, semi-sweet, very seductive, sexy kind of fragrance with much better performance than the previous iterations. This one is a good seven plus hours in terms of longevity, really good projection. It has a bit of that aldehydic powder that typically follows the note of iris and that gives it a form of elegance along with its seductive quality to kind of broaden the spectrum when it comes to versatility. Definitely one of those for daily wear, but specifically nighttime wear and date night wear. Fantastic fragrance. Halloween Man Shot. You're probably developing a pretty good idea, a pretty good picture so far of the way these fragrances were received and in terms in your mind of where they're going to rank and where you would rank them. So 2019 came along and saw the release of Halloween Man X. Halloween Man X is definitely the fragrance that has garnered the most attention and is probably the most reviewed fragrance in the Halloween Man line. People already thought that they had seen and smelled the best of what the Halloween Man line had to offer when this came along and kind of blew them away. Jesus Del Pozo had yet to do a Oriental fragrance, at least the Oriental Gourmand fragrance in the line, and this kind of ticked off both of those boxes. Halloween Man X is primarily known for featuring notes of whiskey, roasted coffee, and leather. It also has a good bit of mineralic notes that kind of come across as a dry urban concrete kind of note. You wouldn't think that it'd be a good combination, but it ends up being a fantastic combination. Some people say it smells a little bit synthetic. You can definitely de determine that there's aroma chemicals used in this. It's not unpleasant. It happened, you know, it's one of those things that's easily forgivable in lieu of the overall overwhelming performance of the fragrance and pleasantness of the aroma. An excellent cold weather masculine fragrance. You know, when you think of the smell of roasted coffee, a lot of people like the smell of coffee better than the taste of coffee. And of course, it's got that whole boozy whiskey going on and that combination of that textile of leather gives the aroma texture, something to hang on to. Just an overall great scent. This to a lot of people is the best of the line. So think about how it's gonna be ranking for you overall as we continue to discuss the others in the line. Halloween Man X. The last Halloween Man fragrance thus far that has been released 2021 saw the release of Halloween Man Hero. Hero is the summertime version of the fragrance DNA. It opens with lemon, ginger, grapefruit, and apple, and you get those fruits right away. And they kind of encompass the overall aroma of the fragrance, so they last throughout the life of the fragrance. The lemon especially, this is a very lemony fragrance. There is a bit of synthetic smell, but that just goes 
part and parcel to the Halloween Man overall theme. The theme of inexpensive fragrance, but very creative aroma, right? That's, that's kind of my favorite part of the theme of the entire Halloween Man line is the creativity that goes into the fragrance that you can smell, feel, and wear. It's extremely wearable. Now, this one has great performance, great projection, and it's a really solid summertime fragrance. It's got a heart of lavender, sage, something called aquaflora, just like a floral aqua, like it, just like it sounds, and some marine notes. The base is cashmere, patchouli, moss, and amber, or amber extreme, which again, another aroma chemical mimicking what amber does. Just an overall extremely pleasant fragrance that lasts and lasts. This is one of the best, I would actually call this a banger in terms of how it performs. So if you are really enjoying fruity, summertime, very lemony, very fresh, uh, lightly marine, aquatic kind of fragrances, you'll enjoy Halloween Man Hero. And think about where it would rank so far in comparison with the other Halloween Man fragrances that we've considered and how people might rank them overall. And that's exactly what we're going to do. You've been waiting patiently as we talk about each individual fragrance so that you can kind of rank it in your head, kind of place a number beside it in terms of how well you would like it. Or if you've experienced the fragrances, you've already kind of developed an idea of which one is best suited for your needs. Which do you think the public overall picks as the number one out of the six? Well, you might be surprised. A lot of people would think Halloween Man X right away, but you would be wrong. It's actually Halloween Man Shot. Halloween Man Shot is the number one, at least the number one voted online, the number one voted fragrance in the Halloween Man line. It's just that fantastic, creamy, semi-sweet, sexy combination of iris and sage in the heart, and that vase of vanilla, amber, and leather. Come on. There's no better combination than those notes, at least in this line. And so I would happen to agree, Halloween Man Shot is also my favorite. You probably aren't surprised by the second favorite in the line, and that is, of course, Halloween Man X. It's not even really a close runner up. Definitely Halloween Man Shot won by a. But. Halloween Man X is definitely the runner up. Coming in as number three in third place is gonna be no surprise, and that is the original Halloween Man. It's just overall a great, solid, sexy, masculine signature scent, especially for the younger crowd. Pulling out all stops and coming in as number four in fourth place is Halloween Man Hero, the summertime version of the Halloween Man DNA. The rest you can likely guess. Coming in as number five or in fifth place is Halloween Man Tattoo, and pulling up last place, the caboose of the fragrance line, it actually has the right color for that, is Halloween Man Rock On. If you own the entire Halloween Man line, I would like to know your ranking. Leave your ranking of the fragrances in the comments below so that everybody can check it out. But if you have yet to experience these fragrances, hopefully this has given you an idea as to which are the best which you might want to purchase first or only and enjoy. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out today's video comparison. Please be safe out there this evening. As always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow.